Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smita. Welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial is on this timeless, very long lasting Indian bridal look with a classic antique gold cut crease with glitter paired with a beautiful red lip. And along the way, I'll be sharing several tips and tricks on how to make this super long lasting and sweat proof. So without further ado, let's get started. And if you're new here, please take a moment to subscribe. I'm going to be first starting with my eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dipro Pomade in dark brown. Using an angled brush, I'm going to be filling in the sparse areas. This is a foolproof, long lasting product. It's waterproof as well, so it's going to last you an entire day. To seal and set my brows further, I'm going to be using the Milani Clear Brow Shaping Gel. And then I'm going to clean up the borders of my eyebrows using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Creamy Beige. And I'm also going to use this as a primer on my lid before I use any eyeshadows. I'm only setting above my crease with some loose powder to absorb any moisture or sweat and the powder that I'm using is Maybelline Master Fix. Using cello tape or sticky tape in the corners will give you those dramatic straight edges which I always love for a beautiful Bollywood look. For eye makeup, I'm going to be using the Destination Desert Palette. This is from Deck of Scarlet. First using Sunrise, I'm going to warm up the entire crease area using a fluffy blending brush. Next, using Nocturnal with a smaller blending brush, I'm going to deepen the outer corner and the crease and I'm going to make sure it's well blended and it flows really well into the transition color that we just used. Now that everything looks well blended and really soft, I'm going to deepen the outer corner and the crease further using a black eyeshadow. I'm using the single black eyeshadow from Maybelline in Night Sky. Using the larger blending brush one more time, I'm just going to make sure everything is well blended. I'm going to be doing a half cut crease, but before I cut my crease using a concealer, I'm going to clean up my lid area using the micellar cleansing water from Garnier. This is going to give you a clean canvas to work with. And then I'm going to use the Elegal Pro Conceal in Creamy Beige to cut my crease. And then I'm going to diffuse out the edges using my finger so blending becomes easier. Right on top of this concealer, I'm going to be using Sahara. This is a beautiful antique gold shade. I'm also going to make sure this is well blended into the black eyeshadow that we used in the outer corner using a small fluffy brush. Right on top of the antique gold shade that we used on the lid, I'm going to be using a liquid glitter eyeshadow from Stila in Kitten Karma. This is probably one of the easiest ways to apply glitter because you don't need a sticky base you can apply directly. And if you need dupes for this product, I'm listing it in the description box below. Now I'm going to start working on my base makeup, finish that up and come back and finish the eye makeup. I'm first using a lip balm from Wet n Wild to make sure that my lips are not chapped when I apply the lipstick so it's well primed. 
For my face and neck, I'm going to start by applying a sunscreen. I always like to use baby sunscreen or kid sunscreen because it's the mildest and it still does the work. This has an SPF for 50 plus. This is the Think Baby Sunscreen. Most sunscreens tend to leave a white cast on your face. So wait for about 10 minutes before it's absorbed into your skin before you apply anything else. For primer, I'm going to be using the Benefit Porefessional. As the name says, it's going to fill up all your pores and give you that smooth base before you apply anything else over it. Using a peach corrector from the Coastal Sense Concealed Palette, I'm going to color correct in areas where I have dark spots, dark patches and dark circles. The peach and orange correctors tend to cancel out the blue in your skin tone. So if you look at your dark circles and some of the dark spots, they have a blue undertone. So the peaches and the oranges cancel that out and neutralize it. And then you can use a concealer on top of it to bring it down to your skin tone without it looking ashy. I'm going to very lightly dust some loose powder on top of this. I'm using the Airspun Translucent Loose Powder. That way the color corrector is set and it doesn't mix with the foundation that's coming up next. For foundation, I wanted something that gives me the coverage and is also long wearing. So I'm going to be using the Lancome Tint Idol in 430. And this also has an SPF of 15. So it's going to give you that extra sun protection that you absolutely need. And whenever I use color corrector, I like to use a beauty sponge to apply my foundation because it presses the product onto your skin. Whereas if you use a brush, sometimes the bristles of the brush can pull the color corrector from underneath and mix it with the foundation. Now to highlight my face, especially the high points, I'm going to be using a lighter concealer. This is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in medium 28. I'm going to blend everything out with a damp beauty sponge and all my sponges are from Studio 35. And now comes the most important step to ensure your base makeup is set and it looks fresh throughout the day. To set and seal my base makeup, I'm going to dip my damp sponge in some loose powder. I'm using the Airspun Translucent Loose Powder and I'm going to gently press this powder throughout my face. I'm going to start in areas where my concealer might crease like under my eyes, around my mouth and nose and then I'm going to set my entire face. Now you might be wondering how damp should the sponge be? Now here's what I like to personally do. I let some water run on the sponge till it expands in size and then I squeeze out all the water from the sponge and then I put it in a dry towel and then I press it gently till any more excess water from the sponge comes out that I could not squeeze out. You will observe that setting your face this way also gives you that flawless finish. And on top of this, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Rose Setting Spray to make sure everything is sealed. Moving back to my eye makeup, I'm first using Sunrise. I'm going to smoke this out throughout my lower lash line using a flat fluffy brush from the Earthy Vase. Next with a bullet pencil brush, I'm taking Nocturnal and I'm going to smoke this out closer to my lash line. In my waterline, I'm going to be using the Jordana Easy Liner in black. This is a waterproof eye pencil and one of my favorite drugstore eye pencils.
and for eyeliner i'm going to be using the waterproof black liquid liner from o2o let's be real during weddings especially brides tend to get a little emotional and even if the tears are flowing down your eyes you don't want anything smudged around your eyes so the trick there is to use as many waterproof products as possible and to foolproof my lower lash line i'm going to be using some black eyeshadow using this flat brush i'm going to first set my waterline and then i'm going to bring it down to my lash line if you haven't watched my video on how to make your kajal or eye pencil smudge proof i'm going to place a card right on top Next, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. And for false lashes, I'm using the Herjot lashes in Bombshell. And I'm going to finish up with a coat of mascara in my lower lashes. I'm using the Mega Length Mascara from Wet n Wild. Again, this is a waterproof mascara. Dusting off the excess powder and here is my finished eye makeup. To add some structure to my face, I'm going to be contouring it using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. This is the powder contour kit and the shade that I'm using is Fawn. For blush, I'm going to be using the Sigma Aura Powder in Sigma Pink. And to bring some light into my face, I'm going to be illuminating it with the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Illuminator. I'm going to be highlighting the highest points of my face. To pair with my classic antique gold cut crease, I wanted a deep red lipstick with a blue undertone and uh, I couldn't reach out for anything better than the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Lip Color in Red Velvet Cake. And then I'm using the setting spray one more time to double seal my face. A bridal look is incomplete without some beautiful traditional jewelry. I'm going to link the store to this jewelry in the description box below. And here's the final look you guys. I hope you like the way this came together. Comment below and let me know. And if you enjoyed watching this video, as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. For your convenience, I've listed all the products that I've used with a few dupes here and there in the description box right below this video. You'll also find links to my social media accounts there. So make sure you're following me on Instagram and Facebook. And if you plan to recreate any of my looks, don't forget to tag me there. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new video. Bye guys.